everybody how is all of you um doing today it is a sunday so yay um well actually i don't know if it should be yay it should be yay because it is sunday and we're hanging out also not very yay <laughs> because it means tomorrow we'll have to work um i do have my pack of diet coke handy with me i thought it was funny because i think it was like yesterday or something kill was like I think Savvy has a pack of Diet Coke under her desk. I was like, yes, 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 I do. Um, how are you guys? I hope that all of you are doing really well today. Um, I'm just brushing my hair. Let's go. Let's say hi to chat. So hello, chat. I see Aruda and Chrisand and Kyo. How are you guys doing? Uh, I see R Frost. I know R Frost said that he was getting. A word call that has to be absolutely insane and hello circus how are you doing circus did you uh, already buy your matrix I'm wondering so in case you guys didn't know uh, circus had made this um, deal when Eruda was doing the p90 and the deal was like if Eruda stuck to it and didn't really fail I believe it was something like more than 80% of the time that um, after the end of the P90 period, uh, Circus was going to buy his own made dress. And we did have some discussion about it uh, in Gilded. So if you have not joined Gilded, please make sure to join Gilded. And um, in Gilded, uh, I think the discussion was like, just make it you. Just just make it you. It does not have to be exactly the same made dress that Eruda had. Obviously, it does not have to be the same matrix that I have, because oh my God, the matrix I that I have the mate. If you if you're a girl and you're looking for matrices, let me tell you, um, they look long up front, but then they're really really short at the back, so it does not cover much of your butt. Uh, so I'm sure made dresses for guys are very different awesome there you go circus bought his made dress so that should be interesting uh thank you for for being doing uh for, for doing that yes it is my new fancy brush it is made of uh boar um i just need boar bristle boar, boar hair so it is particularly much nicer um for, for hair so it, it's it's made so that it doesn't pull on your hair it only grabs the stuff that is dead already and um, it doesn't pull on your hair at all and I guess I guess like it's kind of similar to the hairbrush that I guess Marilyn Monroe used to have or something but I guess it's something about the boar hair in the, the hair so you can you can find hair brushes that are thicker um, that have that use more hair instead of just nylon anywhere so if you are interested there you go more information uh, for you but I hope everybody is doing really really well <laughs> it works because I'm really short I am really short I am 5'3 that is 100% accurate oh my god you guys and I also was playing alone in the dark uh, I got to chapter 4 it was kind of like I was playing it before the stream so I was like I don't want to just like stream it for like half an hour and then just jump to Pokemon so I just played it on my on my own but it was really fun so I'll keep streaming it streaming it because it's absolutely absolutely fun fun game um, there there is also by the way we do have merch if you have not looked at that yet we have uh, the cult of Sevi merch uh, which is amazing. Oh my god, Warlock! <laughs> Hello, Warlock! Warlock said I'm 4 4 2 and <laughs> <It's> 3 6. <laughs> oh, facts, man. It's just so funny. We do have a cult of merch uh, happening, so now uh, that we just released the first scene, that we will have different scenes full for the cult of Sevi. Um, I think it was. I think it was a mixture between Brian's idea and Brimstone's idea, and I think a couple other folks. Yeah, Brimstone was definitely was definitely proud uh, pr proud of creating the Cult of Sevi uh, merch. So we have the first scene, um, which is absolutely amazing. If you have not 
uh, looked at it uh, yet. I cannot wait to get my stuff because it is amazing. I will take a lot of pictures uh, once I have it. Um, <laughs> you will sip and read as tears. <laughs> that is so funny, you guys. Oh god, yep. That's, that's absolutely amazing. It was the best idea for sure. It, like sometimes I, I, I really do think the best ideas really come from chat. Um, so it's uh, it's absolutely amazing. I and mean, chat is amazing. You guys have the best ideas. I know we have the whole list of songs as well. Uh, so we, we definitely have a lot of stuff, which reminds me, I need to tell Noel to join um, because Noel is oh I, I I said it okay hold on I already said it uh, Noel can you join the link please okay uh, Noel is the DM that is going to to help me create my one shot and I got the one shot idea from chat so you guys are amazing um, if you um, it, most of you know I, I stream privately in my kick and my and my Twitch. So one of those streams that we were doing, we came up with best ideas ever for for the one shot. So I told Noelle and she is up for it. So Noelle and Osaku are gonna be helping me um, get things figured out and teach me how to use uh, World 20. So it's gonna be amazing. So I am working on the one shot and I think you guys will really like it um, 100%. So very excited. Um, if you are new to this stream, hello, I'm Sevi. I know I'm kind of late saying that. Um, all right. Okay, bye, Brimstone. See you in a bit. Um, and uh, every half an hour, we do... Every half an hour or every hour. We do... We do... Um, let me look every half an hour I had to check on <laughs> I had to check on the title every half an hour we do a free giveaway for the temporal forces um, pack so you'll get a code for that all you have to do is do a hashtag um, raffle and that will and that will make sure that you join the raffle for it so it should be fun so I have a, a couple of uh how long have you been doing this stream uh way too long and <laughs> just too tired <laughs> uh but it should be fine it should be fine i kind of have a couple of uh stuff that we can do so just kind of let you know so we have the fed deck which we can do uh which you guys can redeem you guys uh you guys have a lot of menu options that you can redeem uh one is a fed deck you can redeem that jokes uh they are bad they make me laugh because i love bad jokes um you can redeem story time um yeah you can also ask me to play a different deck in particular or yeah or we can have a fed deck i know that we have this decks but we can fix them uh, because of a lot of these decks went out of rotation we'll have to fix them but we can fix uh, a couple of this stuff uh, to make them um to make that work for sure but um so my plan is to play iron crown for a bit um i do have a ghastly that um i made i'm excited about it now uh, because we have ginger ex uh look at that with nine curse it should be really really fun and exciting uh we do have Abraham, so we'll kind of talk about it but i guess for now I know like I think like the past two weeks we have not had a Pokemon stream um, so let me just kind of revisit this so I know that we have Iron Valiant here for the extra damage Iron Crown um, this is I mean let me make it bigger here we go has Cobalt Command so attacks used by future Pokemon except in the Iron Crown do 20 more damage. So if I remember correctly, I put a bunch of Iron Crowns and then have my main attackers. So I have Iron Hands. I also have Iron Valiant here. 
Iron of Wolder. Hmm. Power Stump does 200 damage. It won't quite kill Cherizard, but we could get there, maybe. Uh, so we kind of have those, and I have um, an ancient box temporal card that we could play with Roaring Moon. The idea is um, if we use Roaring Moon, Vengeance, Fletching, it does 10 more damage for each ancient card in your discard pile. So most of my cards here are going to be ancient. Um, so it will just really depend. But let's just get started with Iron Crown Future. Um, and see how we do it. <laughs> Is that a version of Jack? Let's get started. And how are you guys doing? I know Richard said he was working. How is the rest of you doing? Have you, have you done anything exciting yet? There is a heist. Let's join the heist. Heist all in. Alright. Um, we do not have any basic Pokemon, so it looks like we're not gonna do very well here. And, oh my god, we got two mulligans. That's bad. So they get two more cards. Okay. Um, I'll put them right in here. And we will... Get started. See how we do it. See how we do it. Okay, kudos if you know what song that is in. Did you know what, what song that was in? Huh? So this is a different Mirai. It has peak acceleration. Search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach them to your future Pokemon any way that you like. Um, I could do an Arvin. Oh, I'm playing against Champau. Oh my god, I hate you right now so much. I hate the Champau deck because all it does is just grab cards. Um, let's see. That was an old school champion. Okay, uh, let's do Techno Raider. You can use this card only if you discard another one. You search a deck for two Pokemon, so we're gonna get rid of this switch cart. And we're gonna grab a couple of them. So, oh no, we do not have. Well, I guess we'll grab you and then you. Um. To Arvin. Okay, well, use this. Use a heavy ball, maybe. But the energy switch would be nice as well. Okay. Let's do Earth and Vessel. Oh shit. Oh my god, I screwed that one up. Alright, that's fine. But it's fine. I should have kept the electric energy in the deck when I did peak acceleration. I really did not think about it. Uh, but that is correct. I would have assumed... Um, I 
I would have assumed that, um... I would have assumed that, um... Okay, there we go, they're switching. That's a weird way to do it. You could have just switched into that one. Oh, they conceded. Okay. Well, I screwed up the energy, so it's a good thing they conceded for sure. And let's try this again. Let's go. Never let a Vogon read poetry to you. A Vogon, like from um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Vogon, is that what we're talking about? Uh, sure. I will go first. Let's go. Well, Christian, removing teams from your phone sounds like a really good idea. I'm not gonna lie. We have a lot of good cards. I don't want to just use Iono. But I don't have the cards I want. That's the problem. These are not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Hey, Rude, I forgot to buy his own merch. Oh, you saw somebody with a Don't Panic bumper sticker today? Interesting. Well, Dolphin said it's the smartest. I like how in the, um... In the, in, in the, in the movie, the Dolphins just, like, jumped from the sea and went to, up to the sky. Oh my god. This is not what I want. Oh my god. What am I going to do? I don't want to use any of these ones. I don't want to use any... I, I, I have only... Fuck. I only have two Psychic and two... But I have Energy Switch. I have Energy Switch. So with Energy Switch, I could move it back to... Then and I can't do anything on this turn. All right, I'm gonna end my turn. Okay, because with energy switch, and I can give the electric one back to Iron Hands. It's just I wasn't particularly. Um, I said buy your own merch, Rudai. Buy your own merch. Hello, Nosaku. How are you doing? Uh, no. Okay. Stoke. Search your deck for two basic fire cards. Okay, so I wonder if we're gonna end up playing against Cherry Star, or is it just gonna be this one? Oh my god. It's just, I, I don't like any of this. I'm gonna have to Iono. I'm sorry that I have to get rid of that one particularly that's not what i want either oh my god okay here we go we'll do iron crown here <laughs> also not what i wanted okay let's do this oh we got another iron crown here this <laughs> is just like what are the fucking odds man what are the odds what are the odds okay um Interesting. I'll see. 
Um. Oh, we had three of these. Circus, that's funny. Alright, um. Uh, okay, so I'm sure he's gonna hit me right now for 70 damage, which was not very nice. Um. It just seems really weird to me that that's what they're deciding to do. But I will leave them here for now. Alright, let's see what I got. I got an Iono, perfect. If they have a cherry start, I really don't want to go below three. Price cards. Okay, they have an arc nine, which I'm not ready for at all. Okay, Poke Gear. Um, and Arvin. It's gonna die. It's gonna be writing down. I'm expecting my writing to die. Did it? That is funny. And now we are playing against Arcanine and they have a Charmander. Ah, oh, figured as much. Okay. And now my Raiden is dead. I did get a Mew. Oh my god, it did not kill me. Interesting. I'm gonna uh, boss order the Charmander over here. Yeah. Now we're just seeing one price card and we'll see, okay, we got, an, we got the heavy ball we use. It's gonna be... And now we're playing against Arcanine. Oh shit, we're below three. Did not realize. I was trying so hard to kill that before it became a Charizard. I 
see how it goes. See how we do it. Okay. Oh, you can no longer enter the raffle. Wow, it hasn't really been half an hour so far. Oh, damn it. Oh, there you go. Another charm in there. Let's move a basic energy from one every Pokemon to another Pokemon. Shit, this is just not good, man. Okay. Oh no, fuck! I deleted my boss order! Oh my fucking god, I'm an idiot. I was gonna use that fucking boss order. Well, it's too late now. Too late now, and now he's gonna come and get a fucking Charizard out of it. He's boss ordering me. Oh my god. He doesn't have a drink. Boss orders. The question is do you have rare candy? And can I get myself out of this? Switch twice. Did we actually get this lucky, you guys? My god, oh my fucking god, we got this lucky. How do we get this fucking lucky? Jesus Christ! Okay, so the energy switch allowed us to put four fucking energy cards on this guy like to be honest though that was a great move of putting putting my iron hands up there because in order for me to retreat i believe i needed like four energy to be able to retreat, either four or three energy to be able to retreat i was like oh my god emory raiden knocks out this entire deck just by itself, with only one energy. That's fucking insane. Oh. Oh, God. That was a lucky, lucky as shit. Like, that's insane. Oh, hello, Sarark. How are you doing? You missed my extremely lucky. Like, I didn't have... I didn't have anything set up. I only have a Miraiden, and Miraiden only had one electric energy. And on my bench, I had three Iron Crowns, 
and I had um, and I had uh, I think I can't remember exactly what else I had um, and um, and uh, they they had left only a Charmander so I thought okay well I'm just gonna knock it out with my Raiden who only had one energy attack and because I had I think three iron crowns that that made the attack 100 instead of 60 uh, of what it should have been and he used boss order on me and he moved my iron hands from my bench to the active and I had no energy on on, on the um, on the iron hands I had no energy and I was lucky enough because of the last price card I got uh, d a double turbo so I put the double turbo out and when I did professor research I got two energy switches which allowed me to find four energy for iron hands to win the game that was crazy it's like tell me about lucky I thought I was done for because I was expecting this guy to turn into cherry star at that point honestly because i was like really really like it's like oh my god it's just i went below three and i was like they're gonna have a cherry star and they're gonna kill me so i had been killing their charmander as soon as they came up and this one i was like i'm done for i have nothing next round they're gonna come they're gonna evolve it to a cherry star and then i'm done that was crazy yeah, like what are the odds? That was luck. Pure luck. There was no skill involved. <laughs> it was just luck. Oh wow. Okay, got one more pack. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Um, somebody just redeemed the Fed deck, so I'm gonna be playing the Fed deck, which is probably gonna be stupid. Annoying and then we'll go back to playing in normal Pokemon Let's see so let's look at this fed deck so we have Spike sting So this one evolves into this one for 100 HP Resilient soul this Pokemon gets 50 more HP for each price card. Okay, only does 80 damage, that's not a lot. Neko turns into this one. Um, exploding energy. Once you're gonna turn your research deck for up to five basic grass energy and attach them to any Pokemon you want. Okay. If you search your deck in this way, this Pokemon is knocked out. Oh, that's not nice. Jesus. That's not nice at all, man. Okay. Dawn's heart has dig. Run away draw. Once you're in your turn, you withdraw three cards. If you do cards this way, shuffle this Pokemon all attached cards into your deck. Oh. This is a weird, weird deck. This is like the running away deck, apparently. Okay, so we have... Buddy Buddy Pofin that brings two basic Pokemon with 70 HP, capturing Aroma, which lets us find an evolution Pokemon if we flip a coin. Counter Catcher Poke Gear. Uh, Super Rod, Ultra Ball, Artisan, Boss Orders, I don't know, Research, Roxanne. You can only use this card if your opponent has three or fewer price cards remaining. Yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, I agree, it's not worth it. Hero Escape, oh my god, it's retarded! Okay, your, the way that you create decks, Erudai, sucks. Hero Escape, it gives 100 hp but again <sighs> does this have the like you're gonna give somebody one extra price card for it we'll try it out i don't feel very confident in this um in, in this deck that everyone i created
We need to talk about how to create a deck. It feels like your decks are just to roast me. <laughs> Ray Bondman, I did. I did read it. Wait. Wait. This is not it. Oh my god. Hold on. I know! It's stupid! I miss. Be Bamblin. Okay. So what? I don't get it. It's dumb. Okay, we're gonna play the Fed deck. You said read Ramblin, I did. You didn't say you didn't say read his evolution besides I did read his evolution and I thought it was stupid. You went three and oh nice. Oh, you want to want a ninth? A ninth? That's awesome. Good luck. Um, that's awesome. Fiorentina is a good deck. Okay, so selecting cards, they're playing Ghastly. They have Skillvet and they have Beat Off. Okay. You don't even have Bibarel. You think they were hoping for Beaver Earl. It's a weird, weird move first round to do it, but I guess maybe they had nothing. you play a deck the better it does yeah that is true you get more used to it and then you get used to uh, what other people are doing with it did I lose? Oh, they conceded. That was weird. Hello, Abe. How are you doing? Um... Okay, look. Doesn't say anything about it. I don't... The evolution from Bramblin just have resilient soul. Yeah, I think you're talking about using this one to let them 
They're gonna they're gonna kill you anyway, honestly. They are gonna kill you anyway. Um, I'm gonna run and just get some ice, so I will be right back. Give me one second. It just goes okay i see what you mean you guys 50 hp more so it's not healing it's just it's hp just gets higher is that what you're saying it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be strong at killing anybody that's what i'm understanding from it just because it gets more hp doesn't mean that it's gonna win Let's try this again. All right, bye, Sorak. Um, yep, I saw. Um, I see what you mean. Yeah, I'm gonna go first, apparently. Um, oh man, okay. We'll see. Mio.
assuming that guy's gonna die anyway. Um. In our turn. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know why they just put that there. This clearly requires two psychic energy. Oh, they got Giratina. Interesting. Root Bonnie. Interesting. Oh man, this is gonna be an impossible battle to win. energy then I'll move this one up um. then I'm gonna Iono and get more cards um Just run away, ma'am. Um, no, it's not what I want. Wait, they conceded? How can I, like, to play this deck when everybody's conceding? Okay. I swear to God, I didn't even take that long of time to do this. Yeah, everybody's just quitting. Oh my god. Um, let me go the mod thing. All right, let's do heads. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, do I need to go first? Sure, I'll go first. I know, it's like, go run away. At this point, it's like, nobody, we're never gonna see, oh. Never mind. I got a mulligan. Let's go. Looks like we're playing against a, a psychic type of Pokemon. 
Maybe Mew? Oh, I did not know that the heist was actually ongoing. Interesting. I got two mulligans. Shut up. This one. Apparently, we want to get this ones. No, I'm not gonna. Uh. We'll see. We shall see. We're gonna end our turn. What? I don't think it was you. I think it was just Christian sussing everybody out of the boat. Oh my god, we needed someone to scrub the keel when we sailed. Alright, let's go. Oh <laughs> god, that's hilarious. Alright, let's see. So we're playing against Mew and we're playing against Natu and Zatu, which are just gonna get this guy. Oh, this is gonna be a hard fight. I think. Alright. Oh my god. What are the odds if they kill him? Oh, they didn't kill him. What are they not odds if they don't kill him? That's not very oddish of, of you. Dun, dun, dun. So... Okay. Reverse energy. As long as this card is tied to the Pokemon, it provides synergy. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, uh, every type of energy, but only one at a time. Got it. Do Poke Gear. No valid cards. Alright. I cannot Iono. And I think I'm gonna end my turn here. I think I don't wanna get this dude killed right away. I need to finish setting up these guys. I see Commander N is playing Helldivers. Ah, do you think I should tell that story, Chris Sam? <laughs> he has two Zaki, alright.
Can't do professor research. Capturing aroma and see what we get. Um, man, not really what I wanted, but it's okay. Okay. All right. Um, put this one here. If we do this, this one gives me five basic. Anywhere you want. And then I guess we're gonna have to do it. Uh, let's run away ability. Okay. Now I'll do this one and get here. There's no valid cards here. Means he has more HP now. Okay, now he has now he has 300 HP. Counter catcher. This one. Let's like hopefully this works. Everybody, please cross your fingers. Why are we doing? Ah, oh, we only got two heads. All right, we only got two heads. gonna add more energy to this guy. Huh? I have a plan. My plan is to put the additional energy on the bramble, kill the other one, super rod all the energy, Actually, I don't know how much more energy I have. <laughs> so, we shall see. What do you mean, um, clean house? Oh, the oh, because Kyo got like. Oh, because he won the raffle. I thought you meant like he killed everybody on the boat. And I was like, wow, okay, why are you killing everybody on the boat? That's what Chris Sant does. I was focusing on their match. So I didn't read about. But that's awesome though. Oh my god, how dare you? You stupid little shit. It just gives me more HP. <laughs> awesome. Oh, 
and if you hear that at once. What is Roxanne? Figure this out, you guys. There we go. We killed their mule. Let's go. I'm guessing they're gonna put the RCS. Oh, they did not. Interesting. Huh. They should have put the RCS up there. But you don't have any V Pokemon to give your stuff for. Another mew. Wow. Oh. Okay. Huh. That's why we keep pushing him off the boat. Because he keeps winning. <laughs> you said only three subs. Three subs is not. A huge amount. I believe the Mew is not a V. Nope. It's weird to play on the RC as a V with with Mew and Satu and Natu because those are not V Pokemon. Arceus V allows you to gift stuff off to somebody else. I mean very clearly they're gonna try and retreat or wait for me to kill the Satu. We'll see how it goes. Super rod, probably super riding more psychic energy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. Come on. Finally, my turn. Capturing aroma. Zero to seven hundred and twenty. All right, let's go. Please, 
Cross your fingers, chat. Oh my god, we need some heads. Let's go. We got four. Let's go. 320 damage. Bye bye, Mew. It was nice knowing you. We have two more price cards to go. They can trade in Nova for 20. You can buy they're gonna get another meal. No, we're not. Oh, they got a mana feed. Well, that's a waste of time. I don't have anything that would attach, that would attack your badge. So having a mana feed down there is dumb. Honestly. <laughs> oh, is it really? Like, seriously? That's like seriously what you're doing, buddy. Um. Yeah, let's go. Powerful needles, everybody, cross your fingers. Please give me more heads. Yeah, we got three. 240. Man, I wish I had like super rod over here. But. That's all right. <clears throat> huh? That's so mean. Let's go. Come on, I just need, I think, only one. Oh, there we go. We got the one head that we needed. That sounded so bad. <laughs> that sounded so bad, man. There we go. And we won with the Fat Deck. Let's go. I bet they were so mad. I see them bees in the chat, you guys. I see them bees in the chat celebrating that we won with the stupid fed deck. Okay, Rudai, what did you say was gonna happen? What did you say was going to happen if I won with your deck? What did you say was gonna happen? Tell me again. Tell me again. Okay. So while you do good in your best, cause let's look at the um let's look at Ginger Gengar. Alright, so we have Ghastly. That goes to Haunter, that becomes Ginger EX. And Ginger EX has nine cards. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, you put two damage counters on it. Yeah. We can we can try this out and see how it goes. I think we have this one, we have B-Rail, we 
That's the Kulvik. Okay, I've already said to move damage counters. Alright, let's try it out. Thank you for the three gifted subs. Oh, there you go. And there is a high, so let's go. Hopefully, we all we were not killed. Let's go with tilts. Three bad jokes for, for Sam. Let's see, they won the flip coin and they will go first. Okay. Oh. It's like we both got... Elegant. And they have... Okay. Alright. <clears throat> I'm ready. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this is the first, the first joke. Oh man, we're going against Roaring Moon. Not sure this is gonna work out great. Just saying. Damn it. So this is it. Two hunters are in the woods when one of them collapses. His hunting buddy immediately calls 911. My friend isn't breathing. He shouts into the phone. What should I do? Relax, the operator says. I can help first, but let's make sure he's dead. There's silence and then a gunshot. The guy gets back on the phone and says, okay, now what? That's the first one. Have three of them. <laughs> You're the one who, who picked it. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna do that great in this game right now. Okay. 
Second, second one for Christine. A doctor walks into a room with a dying patient and tells him, I'm sorry, but you only have 10 left. The patient asks, 10 what? Doc, hours, days, weeks? The doctor calmly looks at him and says, nine, eight, seven. There you go. <laughs> That was hilarious. I don't have any other Pokemon I can attach energy to. Let's so give it to him. And we grab two Pice Guards, so, so. Prime Catcher. Switch one of your opponent's best Pokemon to the active spot. If you do so, switch your active Pokemon one of your bench Pokemon. I don't have any bench Pokemon I want to switch. Okay. Oh my god, no, I'm not re I'm not reading that one. Um uh... <laughs> this five <laughs> Okay, this one is so bad. This one is so bad. Okay, there we go. Um Alright, so this one is... I was drinking a martini at a bar when a waitress screams. Does anyone know CPR? She yelled. So I yelled back. I know the entire alphabet. And we all laughed and laughed. Well, except one person. <laughs> oh my god, that is so bad. So bad, so good type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god, man. What was I was saying, I don't want this. I don't want this. Alright. Um. Let's get another ghastly and we'll move it up to another RP. Eventually. There we go. Um. He did. He did. That was so bad. It was so good. <laughs> and we all laughed and laughed and laughed except one person. You missed the jokes. They were quite funny. Oh, I thought it was funny. Oh, thank you for the DM, Sam. Oh my god. A little shit hit me. That little shit. Um... Oh shit, I can't. Alright, I'm gonna. Um, Iono? 
see how we do it. And this is how we do it. Adjustable incisors. Perfect. We'll do crushing hammer on you. Get this one. Um, yeah. To alter wall, and I can't change your books. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just hit you. And nope, I'm not gonna give anybody your energy, buddy. Okay. I bet you didn't expect Gengar to do so well. I did not. Those are really good questions. Really good questions. Hmm. Oh, that one over there has too many, too many. <clears throat> Added vessel looks at the um the cup in your deck. Okay. Yeah. How they're gonna do. That one I think is gonna hit me, so I'm gonna alter ball. Um mm. of course it's gonna switch. Shit. Not expecting this. No. Ah, fuck. Okay. All right. I was so close, man. So close. All right. Very good. You're okay. You're okay. So many. No. no. Okay. Just please on Iono so I can put Pokemon League headquarters back down. That was gonna happen. It's my turn. <laughs> this is perfect, man. This is perfection. Ah, oh, I got a tail. That's all right. There you go. 
Let's see what they do now. Okay, so now we still need four energy to attack for you. Um I just need to kill one of these guys. I got my third gender ready, Gengar ready, in the works. So when it comes to my turn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna evolve it. Um Oh my, you only have five cards left? Were you really this palace? Okay. We're gonna switch card. Okay. Really? Oh. Oh my god. That's fucking insane, man. How the ball. Industrial incisors get five new cards. This is perfect. <sighs> but I'll just kill you anyway. Why did do give me that? So long. One price card. For an Arvin. Okay. The basic spell. I need one more energy. If I had one more energy, I could do finger. Oh, they're gonna boss order me. Okay. Oh, wow. boss ordered this one and I'm just gonna go ahead and kill you buddy I only need one there we go why is he giving me the thumbs up it's the weirdest thing it is the weirdest thing that is going on for sure him giving me the thumbs up like really what is going on? Okay, um, so Kyo did redeem story time. So let me look at this stuff. Uh, I'm just like thinking...
Revenge. <laughs> Revenge. Oh my god, Chrysanthemum is the only one that survived. Jesus, he must have killed everybody. Uh... Honestly, um, you have any other questions, Chrisand? Because it's I think, yeah, if you have any other questions. questions to kind of like prompt like stories and like the question is um have you liked to get out of bad date no what's the most trouble you've been i have not what's the silliest reason you left a club or a party early because i wanted to go to sleep <laughs> you know like those are like those are like not like really great <laughs> answers <laughs> oh god uh so i'm like oh god I'm trying to think. Uh, let me think. Um, yeah, like, it's just... And I just, like, honestly, and everybody that knows me just knows, like, I love napping and I, was, and I love sleeping, so... I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm like super exhausted and tired and I'm just kind of done. So it's kind of normal, <laughs> you know, like I hate to say it. So, uh, no. <clears throat> um, let me think. Worst experience in a class that I have ever had. Um, worst experience. Um, I mean, I, I kind of already told the story about, but I, let me know if you want me to retell it. The story about how my English teacher got fired. Um, because I felt like she was treating one of my friends as her own personal maid. But that wasn't a great experience in class. Um, there is a chemistry teacher story. I don't know if I told you guys about the chemistry teacher story. But it wasn't a worst experience in class. I was just annoyed at the teacher. Um, so, let me think. Um, and I guess I could tell that story. Um, have I told you guys? I know Arudai has heard it, but have I told you guys in chat? Um, 
Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Write that down, Rudai. Um they Rudai has a better story, so How? How? I was doing. You were bartending. Um. I got a. I got a funny story. I got a funny story. So, I think. Let me think. Cause that was funny. Um. Like, I'm trying to remember this story well, so... Because um, the chemistry teacher story is its more like me being pissed off at a teacher. Um, there is... Like, racking my brain. Okay. Alright. Um <laughs> Chris Sands asked what's the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me? <laughs> oh my god. What is the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me? Uh the luckiest. Have I ever in unintentionally also not intentionally gotten somebody in trouble i have intentionally gotten people in trouble because they piss me off um unintentionally i don't think so yeah they, they have to be a good luck i mean seriously like if you think about it driving a car without no brakes and not getting into an accident when i was a teenager in high school that was pretty much good luck i think i was like 16 when that happened um that was probably just one of the luckiest things that ever happened just the fact that like i drove the car with no brakes i remember like i was freaking out so much um but you guys already heard that story that's that's part of the problem um oh chrysanth killed everybody except frost Um, yes, it was a manual transmission. Did that make a difference, Elemental MJ? If the car is an automatic versus manual? It was a manual one. It must be all the generic bags of chips. <laughs> well, that's probably why. Yeah, exactly. I would have to start slowing down early as well. That's how I got through it. I just didn't accelerate at all. Alright, let's go. Huh. An automatic does an engine break the same. Interesting. I did not know that. I don't drive manual anymore. Which, um, my mom had a good rationale for it when I went to college. She said most people don't drive manual. So if you need somebody to drive your car, they won't be able to drive it. So it's safer for it to be an automatic. Um,. We're playing against Tusk. Oh. Not even ready for this.
not even what I wanted to do. Lame. They don't have a good start to this to this game. Oh no, I have a Mimikyu. Jesus. Uh, yeah. My mom said we need to know for an emergency situation. Yeah. That's the thing. Most people drive an automatic, so it just makes more sense. to do me like this. I'm not ready. Hmm. Two more cards, of course. Um, let's go. Well, at least Chris Hans, when your dad put you through car boot camp, he didn't have you sit um he did not have you uh sit on uh, or stand on an oil and that oil in an anthill Oh my god, I don't even have fucking shit to evolve these people with. Ah. Uh. Asked me, what's the funniest mistake you ever made at school work? It's like, <laughs> you think I make mistakes. <laughs> no, I do, but uh, let me think. They're good questions. Makes me mad. Stop it. Oh, like I don't want to lose this, but I don't have anything when I have to Iono. Oh, shit. Nothing there. Alright. Um... Let's 
too, I guess. Dude, he's making me mad. He's putting everything in my fucking... Oh my god, who killed her? Was it Kyo or was it Frost? Blame the vampire cat. Figures. <laughs> like no fucking cards man. He's gonna kill me by getting rid of all my cards. This makes me mad. energy to yourself you little idiot little fucking idiot he's getting rid of all my fucking cards and i have no switch no ability to get this idiot out of here Involved everybody, but I could. Password to somebody else. Super rad. 
just need to get this guy out of here. I can't. I need two energy to retreat it or switch, and I think my switches are here. Yeah, my one switch. I wish I had pal pad or something so I could get the switch back. My fucking god. I'm so done. I am so fucking done. Oh, I only have this. This is not good. Ah, this is not good. This is a basic Pokemon. So this doesn't do anything, this won't do anything. This is shit. Alright. I'm stuck in here. I cannot cannot do anything. <sighs> yeah, got it. I got one for Maiden Gudai. Alright, there we go. We got a new tier. Let's collect and see what we got. Oh, look at that. Got 30. We got the new Iron Crown. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking. Search your deck for two cards. Shuffle your deck. Then put those cards on top. Oh, that is so cool. Melton. Oh, look. From is the evolution from Litten. Rainbow Bee. Oh my god. Litten. The one we just played. An Iron Valiant. Very cool. Very cool. Procona. Oh my god. That is crazy. Alright. I'll tell that story. This full metal lab. Um, steal Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's. Take 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent Pokemon. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Feralighter. Feralighter. That's Torrential Heart. Looks like we already had that one. Interesting. All right, well, I have an insane story for you guys, courtesy of Aruda. It's actually pretty, pretty wild. Um, so, um, at the time, Aruda was quite young. He was 22, and he was a manager at, uh, at a country club, um, and in this particular fine evening, he was out uh, partying it up with one of his friends. So we will call his friend Randy. So he was that not his that's not his real name, obviously. So Eruday and uh, Randy were partying it up um, 
at the bar. Um, and uh, they went to this Irish pub that um, after work that usually they go there um, on the weekends. So, um, of course, Erudite is thinking, this is my time to meet girls out of Craigslist because he knows Craigslist didn't work out really well for him. Um, the first time he, the, the first time that he tried Craigslist, he had that one person that I think I told you guys about that he drove uh, over to her place. He, he looked at her one time and then said, nope, this is not happening. Turned around and then left. Uh, so, well, I'm sure you didn't want me to tell Chad what this guy's, what your friend's name was. So, I chose the name. Nothing wrong with the name Randy, is it? Is there? Um, so he, um, so they go to this Irish pub and every day is really excited. He, he feels like it's gonna be his night, uh, to meet folks. Um, and by folks, I mean girls. So he's very positive. He has a very positive outlook um, on, on, on his quote hunting skills uh, that fine evening. So they go in, they go to the Irish pub. Uh, they're, they're just uh, trying to find a good groove. They kind of sit at the bar and uh, there are two girls that are sitting at the bar alone. Uh, so uh, Arude thinks, well, you know what? It's two girls. We're two guys, you know, maybe we can figure something out. And they kind of like debating between each other whether or not they want to talk to them or not. Um, they seem to be having some uh, fun, you know, they're uh, in their corner ordering drinks. So then they decide, you know what, like, let's just, let, let's just try it out. Let's just see if they're into us. Who knows? Maybe they are. So they go over there. Uh, they get them some drinks. They start talking to the two girls. And uh, Erudai described the girls as being very flirty. So, uh, of course, uh, Randy and Erudai both think, well, this is gonna go well. This is gonna have an amazing happy ending. This is gonna go, abs this is gonna go absolutely great. There is no reason why it should not go well uh, at all. And uh, they're trying to figure out, like, you know what they could do. I think at this time it was uh, it was not quite closing time, but uh, but like they they it was getting to the point where like well it's kind of like getting to the late uh, to the end of the evening ish of sorts, and um, they wanted to still hang out with them. Obviously, um, then Randy had an idea, and you said, and he said, you know what, Erudai. What if we take them back to the country club that you're a manager in because he has the keys. He has the keys, he knows the code, he knows how to get in, and there's alcohol in there as well. Um, the country club is closed in the evening, uh, so there is nobody there. So they figured we're just gonna go there, we're just gonna get even more drunk at the country club uh, well, nobody else is there, uh, and who knows where things will go from there. So, everybody's like, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Why not? Uh, free alcohol, right? A good place. We can, like, party it up. Nobody will be there. Maybe cozy up to the two girls. So, uh, they, uh, get in the car while drunk. Bad, bad, Erudai. Do not drink a drive. And uh, they go to the country club, and uh, they uh, they get in. Uh, Erudai goes in, like puts in the code, and he's all like, uh, like smug about it, like, oh look at me, I know the code. This is exactly like you know, I know how to get down. And um, they then go to the country club's bar tab, uh, the the bar area. And then they start drinking beer from the tap. So Eruda gets them everybody glasses and gets them beer and they just keep drinking. Uh, and about 30 minutes into their drinking, they kind of see some like, car lights kind of like approaching. And like they're just like trying to figure out like what is 
going on um, because there is like the, the, the lights were kind of going in and they they parked right in front of by where they were at. So um, the Aruda is kind of like looking around <laughs> and he's kind of peering up and trying to figure out exactly what happened. And um, as Aruda is kind of like figuring out like, okay, like I'm pretty sure nobody else would be here. He realizes that there are two policemen got, uh, that got out of the car that had flashlights that went to the windows and were flashing the flashlights and were trying to look around and everything. Um, and they were kind of like trying to figure it out uh, what was going on. So Eruda is like, okay, well, this is obviously not perfect. This is weird. There's no reason why the cops would have been called unless, unless the code was changed for the alarm. So um, uh, apparently, as it turns out, uh, the alarm code had indeed, indeed gotten changed and Eruda did not know that and uh, he actually would have not known about it until he got the email the next day <laughs> when they said, hey, every, uh, hey, Ruda, uh, just FYI, you changed the codes. But he didn't know that at that time. So when he put in the wrong code to get in to this fancy country club because he was trying to smooth this little, the, 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 the girls, and they're not little, they, uh, they smooth the girls, uh, uh, that's when, you know, that alarm triggered the call or, uh, to the cops. So, uh, so then, uh, Eruda er er was just like trying not to panic. It's like, okay, well, the cops, if they, uh, we'll just talk to them. You know, I'm sure they think like, yeah, uh, like maybe somebody saw our lights or our car and they called the cops. So we can just explain to the cops, hey, we're here. I'm the manager. We're just here drinking. We're just hanging out. No big deal, right? That's just absolutely fine. So Eruda is like, yep, yep, I got it. it it's all right. It's, it's fine. Then uh, one of the girls starts, like, her eyes were, like, wide as saucers. And she starts, like, freaking out. She looks at the other girl. The other girl starts getting hysterical. And Eruda is looking at them being like, what the fuck, man? Like, it's just cops. Like, what's going on? And um, then they're like, no, no, we cannot get caught by the cops and everybody's like well we didn't do anything bad because of course he thinks breaking and entering is okay which it's not and uh and stealing booze from your work is also not okay Eruda. and but everybody's like oh it's fine it's fine we'll just explain it it's fine and then the girls both tell him that they're not 21 so they're not 21 years old um they did not say how old they were, so um, who knows how old they actually were, but we know for a fact they were not 21. Were they 18? I don't know. I sure hope they were not underage, Erudite. Bad Erudite. Bad Erudite. Um, I'm sure they, they were probably like 20 or something like that. And so they, they, were, they were really young. So they started to freak out at that point because um they were very clearly drunk and they were not 21 and then eruda likes gears start to, to start to move and then he's like oh my god i like i've been buying drinks for these girls and they're not 21 they've been drinking illegally okay they were 19 and 20. also they told you how they were well you didn't write it down so i assume you didn't know um and well they said they were 19 and 20 um so uh so eruda starts to panic and then he's like no no it'll, it'll be fine like you guys just don't say anything stay calm just let me do all, all the talking it'll be it'll be fine so um eruda like talks to everybody and they kind of nod and agree and eruda then is like okay we're good we're good and like, he, he had a plan everybody had agreed to the plan he thought it was gonna go well so he he gathers up whatever courage he has he goes to the door 
he opens the door and then uh, both cops are out there so he decides to just talk to the cops so uh, he he um, <laughs> to be fair he was giving them free drinks so he talks to the cops and he, and he tells hey so I actually work here um, the manager at this country club I was not aware that the code didn't work and that's why you were called so he was trying to like explain things and smooth it over and as he's like explaining about the code situation and how he didn't get the email suddenly the cop the cop just starts yelling hey you stop and every night turns around it's like what is going on why is this cop yelling when i'm trying to talk to them well he sees at this point both girls had ran to the side patio door while he was talking and just booked it they both just ran for it like really really like hardcore ran for it they yeah they just they just left them and they just ran so they they jumped over and then they just ran all the way up so then at a point, Erudai and Randy are like freaking out. They're like, okay, they just run. This is not good. No idea what they're gonna say or what the cops are gonna say. Because at this point, it looks even worse because uh, they are not 21 and uh, they were drinking. Erudai got them drinks while they were not 21. Uh, who knows how old they were? I know they, Edward, I said allegedly they were 19 and 20. Were they 19 and 20? I don't know. You said they were, they, they were uh, fake IDs. Um, so it, it starts to dawn on Erudai as the panic starts to, to rise, the severity of the situation. He got to his workplace uh, while it was closed. He took the alcohol from the workplace while it was closed. He did not pay for it. They had been drinking for a while and he was providing alcohol to people who were not 21. So the severity of this starts to dawn on him and he starts to realize that he's more probably, more likely than not, gonna get fired and he's probably gonna go to jail at this point. So Eruda is just like standing there, like, like waiting with Randy, uh, because like the cops just left. The cops just like ran after the two girls, and they were like, "Well, like I, I don't know. Like, I guess we should stay here, and I guess we should wait. Like, I don't know exactly what was going on." So they just kind of wait there as they're kind of freaking out, and ten minutes later. Uh, one of the cops comes back and he tells them that the girls got away so uh, they ran they booked it they couldn't figure it out uh, they couldn't grab them and they ask Erudai and Randy why they ran away um, Erudai of course lies and says he doesn't know and conveniently says we just met it at the bar we were just hanging out and swapping stories. We never met them before. And that's the story that they went with. Um, the cop um, like took their statement, thanked them for the statement, and then they left without calling the country club and reporting Eruda and Randy to them. Yeah, he succeeded his deception check. How in the hell did he not get in trouble that day? <laughs> no idea. No idea. But that is absolutely insane. They would have seen the cameras. I don't think they checked it. Um, because they, they need to have a reason to check the cameras, I'm sure. I don't know. Um... I don't know how it was not caught. Honestly, it makes no sense. Because, yeah, I am just surprised that the country club didn't notice that low inventory. 
or didn't have something that noticed that like the alarm had been tripped. I'm surprised that nobody got that alarm other than the cops saying that the alarm had been tripped. <clears throat> Are they not recorded? That's crazy. Yeah, I just think like Karma had other plans for Rudai. Definitely what it seems. Oh god. Yeah, beer should have been. Yeah, like, honestly, like, I think, like, <laughs> they don't check it unless they need to. It just got lucky. And, like, I think, like, the thing, too, is, like, how, like, are you sure that we're 18 and, I mean, 19 and 20? Are you sure? Well, I know what they said to you that we're 21, so... It's crazy. So that is another of Erudai's stories, Sagas with Randy. That's the second Saga story. I hope you guys like the story. That was a crazy story. Cannot believe that happened. So, Erud, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, so they asked him about the alarm. Okay. So they did get the, the, the notification that the alarm was stripped. He just lied about it. Yeah, Christina. Got it. Christian says, so what I'm getting from this is that Eruda has always been an idiot who thinks with his 36. <laughs> it's not a lie. It's not a lie. Very clearly you were trying to get lucky with the girls. And that's why you took them to the country club to try and like see, oh look, I'm so cool. Here we go, we're gonna do evolution. Perfect. <clears throat> also, Arunai, don't don't try and fall drinking. Yeah, I agree. Twenty-two year old Arunai should have been spray bottled more. Just specifically to spray bottle you. 
So this is the guy who drives while texting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Every night did not drive while he was drinking. I'm just kidding, you guys. Alright, it looks like we got another Mew situation here. They have both Satus already. Okay. Oh, man. Let's go. Rescue. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh shit, he killed him. <laughs> they committed enough crimes. Oh god. Billy! Ugh. That's super annoying. Pokemon here. I'll grab them. I will do. I wish there was a way I could grab. Uh, and damn it, I don't have enough. I'm gonna end my turn here. lot of beer every day that's a lot of beer eight glasses glasses are like this big that's a lot of beer for you to say nobody would miss it like I'm sure they would like realize it's gone Savvy's dramatic retelling. There was some drama added to it. It does not mean that you shouldn't steal from your job. Seriously. Just don't steal from- it's still stealing, Aruda. It's still stealing. That's a fireable offense.
In most places, it doesn't matter how little the value is. If you steal, you still get fired. I think next one is I'll need to alter wall to get another ginger bee. damage. That's more damage than I thought I was gonna get. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, we'll see what we can do. I just needed the five cards. Let's see. Is attached to all of my all the Pokemon. That's why. What's it matter is not attached to him. We have four attached. got a bunch more. I got a feeling we're gonna die in this one. Thing gets set up in time. Let's see what they're gonna do now. <clears throat> Oh, 
<laughs> Sammy's up there judging me for my crimes and <laughs> my youthful pursuit of love. Your pursuit of love has always been like going through Craigslist. I don't understand it. Why would you do that? A bad idea to steal from your job, Eruda. I would assume you would have known better. I'm gonna have to Iono next time. Ugh. Painful, man. Painful. Um. I'm gonna Iono. They have 12 cards, which is insane. I'll do for the vessel. This one. It sucks because he still has access to them. You can tell Monday's inbound, the chat's slowing down. Yeah, for sure. Plus, it's getting late, so I'm sure folks are tired as well. Stop putting, like, stupid fucking shit on you, man. Of course. Of course. Damn it. Not good at all. Um I need a rare candy and I don't have a rare candy. This is great. We lost. Nobody to devolve. Uh, I'm gonna nest stash. See what we can do. Hmm. Like this. Grab this. Still no thing. anything to do oh man you have to drive oh it's good that she's doing well Nomi is fun and amazing, so it's good. Oh god, Christian killed everybody! <laughs> Uh, 
That's a good idea, Brudai. Yes, about the time of the month. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That sucks. Oh man. Okay. They they laughed. They uh they killed me. Not much that could be done about it. interesting that was a fun 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 see do I wanna keep playing it or do you want to change back to Iron Crown? I feel like there's a lot of stuff that we could potentially do. Um, I think we have time for only one more. So maybe let's just keep one more going with this one and then we'll call it a night So that was I think the last raffle of the evening congratulations Kyo You have to show us what you get once you redeem them Did you guys see my message on Redemption for uh, the one card. I can't remember which one it was. I put it in the community post Okay, this looks way better start It's like we have oh my god, they got three mulligans this whole ladder uh, We're playing against Riotis, okay Yeah, so there is a code that you can redeem a, a special um, You can redeem um, a special card that is that is limited edition I just kind of copied and pasted what I said, but it is in the community po community posts. Let's go. <laughs> there is a new video from Taskmaster Erudai. It says, "Don't encourage internet perverts." <laughs> so now take. Okay, I can't play it.
appreciate it. Go. Oh no, I got tails. Why? Why? Capturing a Roma. This is this a basic? No, this is a V mount. The right is going for it. Got it. Okay, so they're moving. Search your deck for up to five water energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon when you like. Oh my god. This is gonna be painful. This is too bad. I should have put the energy card on the Radiant Alakazam. They're using Jack. And Jack, you search for two evolution Pokemon.
damage counters. Oh, come on. Ah, That's so annoying. Oh, they conceded? <sighs> okay. Alright. Well, that was... I was trying to figure out. I was about to de-evolve their Pokemon. And then evolve mine. But... Alright. Well, there you guys have it. I think that's gonna be it for the night. I know! Like, that's like, okay. Like, I was trying to figure this out. But I guess if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have an amazing evening. Um, I know I didn't see you guys for Star Wars yesterday. Ruda was pretty sick, so hopefully he'll feel better soon. I don't know when we'll have uh, the Call of Cthulhu um, uh, be announced, but I know that we got some artwork and they're currently working through the artwork so hopefully it'll be soon because I know usually we just wait for the artwork um, to be done um, so I think uh, there is no moon school Wednesday so I'll just probably see you guys in my private stream when um, I play uh, under in my, in my kick and my twitch hello brimstone I was just saying bye to chat um, cause I will usually play in my personal, uh, in my personal streams on Kick and Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So I'll see you guys there and then I'll see you guys for Thursday, uh, for March of the Dragon Queen. Hopefully Erudai will feel better. He was feeling pretty sick. I know we gave him a hard time, but I kept nagging him to go to bed cause he was feeling pretty sick. So hopefully Thursday he'll be all good and ready to go. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow in my private um, channels over at Kick and Twitch. And uh, I will probably be uh, continuing my saga with Alone in the Dark because that was a very, very fun game. So I might, uh, so I'll probably do that or I might play uh, Call of Duty. So I haven't really kind of decided uh, for sure. But, um, and just so that you guys know, based on today's chat, Eruda and I, uh, well, Eruda came up with a fantastic new scene for the Cult of Savvy. So, um, and keep your eyes peeled for an announcement that we will be making uh, soon. So hopefully this week, I don't know when we will make the announcement, but keep your ears open and be uh, ready to celebrate once with that announcement. Um... There's a Call of Cthulhu video game. Well, actually, well, Alone in the Dark is sort of like that. It's a Lovecraftian um, game, so it's amazing. It's an amazing game. I love it, and honestly, it's super, super fun. I'm like, right now, I'm so addicted to it. Um, so it kind of like puts me into that mood. And he got a Tommy gun too, so it's like, oh, this is perfect. And my artwork, um, I don't know if my artwork has a Tommy gun. Okay, I will check it out, Frost. I, I will check it out for sure. But I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.